Mother, I'm going away. There are a couple of friends in Cleveland. I can't even get a place. I mean, I'm going away for good. I know what you're thinking, yeah. It's true. I'm yellow. I was made yellow in this house because I, I suspected my father, and I did nothing about it. But if I knew that night when I came home what I know now, he'd be in the district attorney's office by this time. And I'd brought him there. Now, like I am, and all I'm able to do is cry. What are you talking about? What else can you do? I could jail him. I could jail him. If I were any, if I were human anymore. But I'm like everybody else now. I'm practical. You made me practical. But you don't have to be. You ca the cats in that alley are practical. The bums who ran away when we were fighting were practical. Only the dead ones were practical. But now I'm practical. And I spit on myself. I'm going away. I'm going now. I'm coming with you. No, Anne. I don't ask you to do anything about Joe. You do. You do. I swear I never will. But in your heart you always will. Then do what you have to do. Do what? What is there to do? I've lived all night for a reason to make him suffer. There's reason. There's reason. What? Did I raise the dead when I put him behind bars? Then then what I'll do a pay for? We used to shoot a man. Shoot a man who acted like a dog. But honor was real there. You're protecting something. But here, there's a line of the great big dogs. You don't love a man here. You eat up. That's the principle. The only one we live by. It just happened to kill a few people this time. That's all. The world's that way. How can I take it out on him? What sense does that make? There's a zoo! A zoo! You know what he's got to do. Tell him. Let him go. I won't let him go. Annie! What's the matter with you? I want to talk to you. I haven't got anything to say to you. I want to talk to you. Don't do that, Dad. I'm going to hurt you if you do that. There's nothing to say, so say it quick. Exactly what's the matter? What's the matter? You got too much money? Is that what bothers you? It bothers me. If you can't get used to it, then throw it away. You hear me? Take every cent and give it to charity. Throw it in the sewer. Does that settle it? In the sewer, that's all. You think I'm kidding? I'm telling you what to do. If it's dirty, then burn it. It's your money. That's not my money. I'm a dead man. I'm an old dead man. Nothing's mine. Well, talk to me. What do you want me to do? It's not what I want to do. It's what you want to do. What should I want to do? Jail? You want me to go to jail? If you want me to go, say so. Is that where I belong? Then tell me so. What's the matter? Why can't you tell me? You say everything else to me. Say that. I'll tell you why you can't say it. Because you know I don't belong there. Because you know. Who worked for nothing in that war? When they worked for nothing, all worked for nothing. Did they ship a gun or a truck out of Detroit before they got their price? Is that clean? It's dollars and cents, nickels and dimes. War and peace, it's nickels and dimes. What's clean? Half the goddamn country has got to go if I go. That's why you can't tell me. That's exactly why. Then, why am I bad? I know you're no worse than most men, but I thought you were better. I never saw you as a man. I saw you as my father. I can't look at you this way. I can't look at myself. Give me that! He's going to read it. Larry, he wrote that the day he died. Larry? Chris, it's not for you. Why she say? No, go away! Why'd she say? Larry? What? Go to the street, Joe. Go to the street. Don't, Chris, don't. They're in one half years. Talking, talking. Now you tell me what you must do? This is how he died. Now tell me where you belong. Chris, a, a man can't be Jesus in this world. I know all about the world. I know the whole crap story. Now listen to this and tell me what a man's got to be. My dear Anne, you listen to him? He wrote this the day he died. Listen, don't cry, listen. My dear Anne, it is impossible to put down the things I feel, but I've got to tell you something. Yesterday, they flew in a lot of papers from the States, and I read about dad and your father being convicted. I can't express myself. I can't tell you how I feel. Last night, I circled the base for 20 minutes before I could bring myself in. How could he have done that? Every day, three or four men never come back, and he sits back there doing business? I don't know how to tell you what I feel. I can't face everybody. I'm going out on a mission in a few minutes. They'll probably report me missing. If they do, I want you to know that you mustn't wait for me. I tell you, Ab, if I had him here now, I could kill him. Now blame the world. Do you understand that letter? 
I think I do. Get the car. I'll go put on my jacket. Where are you going? No sleep. Where are you going? I can't sleep here. I'll feel better if I go. You're so foolish. Larry was your son too, wasn't he? You know he'd never tell you to do this. Then what is this if it isn't telling me? Sure, he was my son, but I think to him they were all my sons. And I guess they were. I guess they were. I'll be right down. I'm taking him. It's not up to you. If you tell him to stay, he'll stay. Go and tell him. Nobody can stop him now. You'll stop him. How long will he live in prison? Are you trying to kill him? I thought you read this. The war is over. Didn't you hear it's over? Then what was Larry to you? A snow that fell into the water? It's not enough for him to be sorry. Larry didn't kill himself to make you and Dad sorry. What more can we be? You can be better. Once and for all, you can know there's a universe of people outside. And you're responsible too. And unless you know what you threw away with your son, because that's why he died. <laughs> because you know, okay, I <laughs> <laughs>